Everyone deserves a hobby, and for John Travolta, it's flying aircraft. The skilled pilot has a big selection of jets which he can afford, thanks to his estimated net worth of around $250 million. In order to make his hobby more accessible, he ended up purchasing a mansion with its own airport. Today, we'll take a look at this amazing mansion and the gated residential area it sits on, and we'll see how luxurious both are. We'll also look at some of the planes in Travolta's hangar and the stories behind them, all of which are worth millions. Before we begin, if you're looking for more premium content like this, be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Luxury for new luxury content every week. John Travolta's Florida residence is based at the Jumbelair Airport State near the city of Ocala. For comparison, the entire year is 550 acres in size, which can fit 5 Vatican cities because it's around 110 acres. In 2019, the average cost of an acre in Florida was $28,961. However, this takes into account expensive land costs in cities such as Miami as well as cheap rural areas. With this average, the Jumbler Airport land has a valuation of just under $16 million. The main selling point of this exclusive gated neighborhood is that it allows easy access to a secure airport. The main runway is 7,550 feet long, paved and lighted making it America's lengthiest private runway. It could even accommodate large planes such as the Boeing 737. All 38 residential lots are fly-ins, so they have access to a massive airstrip via smaller taxiways. In 1980, the estate was ranch operated by socialite and equestrian Mural Vanderbilt. Then along came Arthur Jones, the founder of a fitness company Nautilus who brought the area. He soon began integrating his love of aviation into the estate. According to reports, the tremendous airstrip is said to have been worth around $6 million in 1984. The property even became a sanctuary for African wildlife, elephants, crocodiles, gorillas and more, all considered it home for a time. By 1989, Arthur Jones had divorced his wife, Terry. She then started turning the estate into the flying neighborhood that it is today. In 2019, it was announced that the entire area would be put up for sale. The package deal included the 5-bedroom, 7,686-square-foot mansion designed for Muriel Vanderbilt with a swimming pool and a fitness center outfitted with the original Nautilus equipment. Even included in the transaction is an 8,735-square-foot conference center or banquet hall with tables and chairs for 400 people. A selection of warehouses totaling 90,000 square feet, 17 unpurchased estate lots with runway access, and 30 revenue generating residential lots, all of which had an original asking price of $10.5 million. Travolta and his late wife Kelly Preston were among the first citizens to buy into the Jumbler Airport estate back in 2001. For eight years, Travolta had been searching for a spot that could easily accommodate his planes. In the end, the husband and wife acquired around 9.5 acres altogether, which is revealed to have cost them $3.5 million all at the time. With inflation, this is approximately $5.2 million today. Travolta then had the taxiway stretch all the way to his front door. The taxiway divides into two roads around the property, leading to separate plane parking bays. Preston explained in an Architectural Digest news piece in 2004 that it was always John's dream to have planes in his front yard and to practically be able to pull up to his house. When he wanted to go to dinner, all he would have to do was step out the door, get on a plane, and whisk off. The house was created to allow viewpoints of their parked planes no matter what space of the house they're hanging in. As such, the property is made of concrete and a lot of glass. The house does have six bedrooms and two kitchens, one for significant food preparation and the other for lightweight, simpler ingredients. These kitchens are then enveloped by three dining areas. The structure was designed by architects Dana Smith and took two years to finally create. Outdoors, there's an in-ground swimming pool with a hot tub connection. According to professionals, adding a hot tub during pool building projects can add an extra $10,000. A cabana built specifically for adults is located near the pool. Travolta hoped to use it as a dancing space, so there's an ample space that can be cleared off for such thing. 
There's also a bar with seating. Travolta characterizes it as a cabana, but it could be a pool house because it has fixed walls. According to experts, a cabana can cost up to $5,000 to build, while a pool house can cost up to $180,000. The mansion has been said to even have a golf course, which could cost between $5,000 and $10,000 per hole for smaller courses. The mansion also has extra room for 16 cars in total. Throughout his flying career, John Travolta has possessed multiple planes. The most renowned of these is the Boeing 707-138B. The classic 707 models cost $4.3 million in 1955, which is approximately $42.2 million today. Travolta's plane was also initially controlled by Australian airliner Cantas beginning in 1964. By 1968, it had been transformed from a passenger plane to a private aircraft. According to reports, it was even acquired by a famed Rat Pack member, Frank Sinatra. By 1998, Travolta had acquired the plane as part of this connection. Travolta became a goodwill ambassador for Cantas. Cantas would preserve the plane for him as he flew their brand worldwide. Initially, the jet could accommodate around 140 passengers. Travolta altered the inside to make it more glamorous. There's space available for 25 people on board and even a master bedroom with a private bath, a kitchen, a dining room, and a family room. In 2017, it was revealed that Travolta would donate his jet to the Historical Aircraft Restoration Society in Australia. It was previously projected that the trip to get the plane to the museum would cost 3 million Australian dollars, which is about 2.3 million US dollars. Another plane in the portfolio of the Greece actor is the Bombardier Challenger 601, which he acquired in 2011. Travolta became an ambassador for the Canadian plane producer Bombardier at the very same time when asked what drew him to this model in an interview with a business jet traveler. He responded, it uses Canada Air technology, which has evolved to an extraordinary degree since the 1970s. He also stated that because he frequently travels with his family, a plane's interior must be comfy. According to reports, a Bombardier Challenger 601 can cost up to $21.4 million to buy, and trying to rent the 601 can cost up to $6,800 per hour, according to several charter sites. The Gulfstream 2 was one of Travolta's most popular planes because of a near-fatal mishap almost three decades ago, in 1992. In 1992, Travolta was trying to fly the jet at 400 miles per hour during the night from Florida to Maine when the tragedy happened, somewhere above the Washington skies. 12,000 feet up, the Gulfstream 2 suffered an electrical problem with no radio working. Air traffic control could not speak to Travolta as he fought to pilot the plane. Air traffic control asked the passenger airplane nearby to see whether they could locate the dropping airplane. By then, the two airplanes had only overlooked each other by two miles. Travolta ended up landing the jet with no injuries. At that period, the Gulfstream 2 was worth around $5 million. Finally, in 2019, one of the most costly airports in history, the Beijing Daxing International Airport in China opened. Building costs alone total 120 billion Chinese yuan, or approximately 18.3 billion US dollars. In addition, various projects within the airport totaled 330 billion yuan, or approximately 50.4 billion US dollars, for a grand total of 450 billion yuan, or 68.7 billion dollars. John Travolta is one of the most well-known celebrities of her time. Behind his illustrious career as an actor, he has a hobby separate from his professional life, something most of us can only dream of. What do you think of John Travolta's airport mansion? Let us know in the comments below. For more luxury content like this, be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Luxury, smash that thumbs up button, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on new videos. See you again soon.